Hi, my name is Walid Isa, and I'm the module leader for Power Electronics and Drive. The code is 5560-4681. And today I'm going to start with a lecture about what is Power Electronics, rather than talking about the module itself. I will leave the uh, video talking about the module for the next one, okay? And just for this one, I will introduce to you the Power Electronics Science and just motivate you about um, uh, how it's very important now and let you appreciate the knowledge that you will get from this module. So the power electronics, what is power electronics? If you focus on the name itself, you will see the power term and electronics term. And you, you, you used to use electronics for low voltages and low currents just to give control signals or for communication and amplification. And you never use it maybe for high power and high current. But in power electronics, we really use it for the uh, high power and high current uh, converters. So they, the power science actually care about generation, distribution, and also supplying to loads, delivering power with efficient way, okay? But electronics can't do that, so they actually it developed new switches and new components like transistors and those, but with higher capability that makes it really easy for uh, the, the high current and high voltage uh, be controlled without any problem. So what is power electronics? So power electronics now refers to solid state electronics devices. So we will use solid state devices like transistors and uh, the thyristors and MOSFETs and diodes. Uh, but for what? Used for the conversion and control for electric power. Maybe that electric power very high or very small. So that's the power electrons. We are not using uh, like relays or contactors. No, we will use small pieces like transistors and MOSFETs and diodes, but with high capability just to make the conversion very efficient and flexible and also to provide control of that because sometimes I need to deliver higher power or lower power or higher level of the voltage or current. So when we look at the sources that we have around us, we have different sources and if we just focus on the power sources, we can see some wind turbines and solar systems. We have also electric vehicles with batteries in it and they have different natures, we, they have different levels, okay? And sometimes the power of voltages and currents fluctuation, okay? Uh, so we want to develop solid state electronics, okay? Converter, just to deliver the compatible voltage and current to the load. And that load might be resistive load or machine or inductive load, okay? So this kind of compatibility issue that we want to solve by power electronics is maybe one of the purposes here. And that power power switches here, okay? It's not just they will work by them all, by their own. No, they, they need some control signals. They need some feedback to be read here, okay? And some feedback also from the sources just to decide whether we are really controlling it at the uh, desired levels or no. So we have three sectors here. We have the electronics, about transistor, thyristors, diodes. We have the power terms, okay? And also we have the control uh, science. Bo all of them can be combined to form what's called power electronic engineer. And we'll talk about also what does power electronics do. Again, we want to deliver efficient and also flexible and control of the conversion of any electric energy from one form to another. And if we looked at, uh, around us, okay, we will find many sources and maybe one of the initial sources is the AC sources. We have it in our um, homes from the outlet. All appliances around us work on AC sources. So that's why we have lots of uh, available AC sources from single phase and three phase. But sometimes our loads are different. We have some now uh, machines, small machines, works on DC, not AC. We have batteries need to be charged also by DC form. So we have to convert from AC to DC because we have DC loads. 
and that conversion is called rectification and this is maybe one of the initial converters you have covered before in other modules but this is one of the form that we want efficient and flexible control out of it but sometimes we have DC sources okay and these DC sources can um, can uh, come from uh, uh, batteries solar power panels or or power supplies and all of these gives us different DC sources levels but I have different DC loads this time but they require different voltages and current levels so I have to convert it from one of DC level to another DC level maybe higher or lower and that's called DC to DC conversion okay because I have different DC loads like electronic circuits or machines and they require different levels but sometimes I have DC sources like this one okay and your car for example you have DC sources batteries and maybe in electric cars they need to convert it to AC because the machine that drives the wheel okay it, it works on AC power so we have to convert it back to AC and this is called now inversion or inverters okay the converters doing this job is called inverters because we have machines power transmission or uh, distribution systems now your solar system uh, go to an inverter to convert it to alternating current to be injected to the grid again because the grid is AC okay so all these converters now is uh, uh, are just examples of power electronics and also we can convert AC to AC why because we want to control AC machine okay or AC lights okay but from another AC source and to control it you have to deliver maybe higher power or energy or lower energy and that's one of the examples is the dimmer okay you control your lights by a dimmer it's AC to AC but we are controlling it control the delivery okay so these are some examples of power electronics devices and converters and you should aware be aware about uh, all of these just to be a good power electronics engineer and maybe the applications are various and spread over the uh, wide spectrum to be honest and from commercial industrial application covering heating systems uh, air conditioners lighting computers power supplies UPSs and also domestic applications for cooking if you have an electric cooker and you controlling the temperature of that cooker okay you are controlling really the amount of energy delivered to that cooker by what by a converter okay what is that converter is it just a small resistor or a transformer or solid state converter okay which is smaller more efficient and gives you uh, good controllability as well and you can also uh, find these applications uh, in the aerospace field for uh, supplying small power uh, circuits and use some solar systems to uh, provide also circuits with uh, suitable uh, power in telecommunications sometimes they are in islands and you have just batteries in that island so you have to convert it to alternating current AC to supply some instruments there and also in transportation I believe you heard how uh, how the uh, government now um, have invested uh, some money just for the theme called uh, transportation electrification they need really to electrify all the uh, transportation now for trams and for uh, some some parts of railway and also for the um, general cars and, and vans and maybe you you will be part of it if you join some uh, power electrons companies you have to know the power train and how we can replace the mechanical parts and replace it with electrical parts with converters so we need converters and we need to be aware about what is the converter what switches and what components I use what controller I have also to to be aware of and how to use it and how to calculate all the signal waveforms to provide efficiency metrics about uh, about your your product okay and also when we talk about the market is the market really in in a demand for power electronics and 
do we feel safe in in that in that topic or no? So power electrons now is really demanding now, and it's it's now a very essential technology in all future sustainable energy scenarios. All now the the governments, not just the UK, other governments now pushes all the industry to go for sustainable plans and also even sustain and sustainable renewable energy integration. Okay, and reducing the uh, the other traditional. Uh, resources of uh, of energy like coal and like gas and and petrol. So uh, all that needs new converters to be invented, new converters to be improved, and that's really good point for us. And if you look at the uh, market, global market, it it you are talking about billions. My about ten billion in two thousand seven about 17.7 billion in 2013 and there is a growing every year by 11.6 percent so all the investments and markets and revenue and all the power electronics market is really growing it's not steady or decaying and if you are looking about the investment or the industries and also the governments uh, until to 2022 there's investment of 40 billion dollar why because there is a revenue Look at the revenue for this report. In 2017, uh, Power Electric Industry Report, they talk about revenues in billions, okay? About here recently, okay? Expectation, this is expectation, but recently about more than 30, 35 uh, uh, billion dollar, okay? And here we have different strands. Some industries work on just the power IC they just focus on how to to make power IC to make control look at that control okay uh, to provide the th signal for the solid state transistors and switches and these are really big demand and also for the power modules sometimes the converters they 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 uh, consist of many transistors and many diodes so they really combine them all together for you and make something called power module and that's a big industry as well and also some discrete components they provide you MOSFETs alone or diodes uh, or uh, VGT transistors or other uh, discrete components for power electrons applications and really it's very very obvious that it's, it's really a big industry and the revenue talks about it and when you uh, see these revenues you should understand there is a reflection on the investment as well because you invest you get money okay all that gives us feeling that the market still need power electronics engineers i receive in a monthly basis some advertisement like this it comes to my email and linked in uh, account telling me we want power electronics engineer or sometimes senior power electronics engineer Okay, that's good. We we got some daily basis advertisement about this, but what about the salaries? Are are they really um, good? We are talking about 60k, and I believe this is uh, more than the average for some uh, for some uh, in other industries. Okay, and that's very good to be honest. You can start with power as a power electronics engineer uh, within 40s, and then in a few years you will become senior within 60s. So I believe there is a good desire here uh, about getting some more power as engineer. And I am aware of some programs now they are running just to make other uh, engineers get interested to be power as engineer and got the knowledge and to prepare them. Okay, because really now the demand and the investment telling us that we need more from you. I hope this now uh, an introduction about power electronics gives you a good stand and desire about what we are going to get and to appreciate the knowledge that you will get from this module and i just want you to work on yourself as well with me to uh, prepare you for power electronics engineer and you join finally some of these companies and maybe you produce your own product and you uh, contribute to this uh, to this era uh, with uh, novel in, uh, converters and also more efficient and control and the flexibility of uh, uh, power power and energy uh, I hope my message is delivered now and transferred to you 
and maybe you will see you next video. I will talk about the uh, modular solution. Thank you very much.